My name is Dr Erin Brazel. I'm a postdoctoral research scientist at the University of Adelaide. I undertook a Bachelor of Science, Biomedical Science at the University of Adelaide, where I majored in genetics, microbiology and immunology. It was during that time that I developed an interest in understanding how bacteria cause disease uh, and wanted to pursue a career in research. So I undertook a, an honours degree and then a PhD in that field here at the University of Adelaide. In my PhD project, I was focused on understanding how nutritional zinc influenced susceptibility to infections, and in particular, how this zinc was impacting the bacteria. This led to a new discovery, uh, which was exciting, where we could combine uh, antibiotics with zinc to enhance their efficacy. Since 2020, when I was awarded my PhD, I've been a postdoctoral research scientist at the University of Adelaide. During this time, I've focused mainly on the development of new vaccines uh, to address pathogens that cause a whole range of infections, including ear infections. I'm most interested in the ENT field because of the sheer prevalence of ear infections. These are one of the most common reasons that children's visit the, children visit the doctor, um, undergo surgeries or take antibiotics. Ear infections are incredibly common in young children. It's estimated that 80% of children will experience an ear infection before they reach the age of three. And 40% of kids will experience recurrent episodes of ear infections. It's estimated that between one and 2.4 million children each year in Australia alone will experience an ear infection. My research is focused on developing new vaccines to target bacteria that cause ear infections. The majority of my work has been helping to develop a new vaccine for pneumococcal disease. Uh, these are caused by Streptococcus pneumoniae. Um, and these bacteria are commonly responsible for ear infections. Uh, our most advanced product called Gamma PN is being tested in a clinical trial, a phase one clinical trial here in Adelaide. Uh, and for the past year or so, we've been developing a new vaccine using a similar approach. Uh, this vaccine targets the next most common cause of ear infections called Haemophilus influenzae. The approach that we've taken to develop these new vaccines is to use killed bacteria. So one thing that's different about these vaccines is that we inactivate them using a technique called gamma radiation. And this is a process that kills the bacteria while retaining the delicate surface structures that are important for mediating an immune response. As of this year, I've been awarded a Puss and Williams Foundation Fellowship. And with this fellowship, I'm taking the research in a different direction where we're going to look at ex uh, combining these two vaccines into a single shot. And so we hope that this has potential to address some of the main causes of ear infections. The University of Adelaide has a very long-standing close collaboration with a biotechnology company called GPN Vaccines, which was spun out of the university several years ago. Together we've been developing new vaccines to help address common causes of ear infections. Uh, with the Parson Williams Foundation Fellowship, this will allow me to test combining these vaccines into a single shot to hopefully address the two common causes of ear infections. One of the things that drives me is sheer curiosity. Uh, I think that understanding how bacteria are causing disease and how our immune systems are responding to those pathogens is really important for developing new products that can help people. Uh, so often I will spend a really long time and lose hours, look through the literature and read up on research that's been done in the past, sometimes decades um, ago, uh, and trying to find information that can help us design better uh, prevention strategies and therapeutics. Another thing that drives me is working with some phenomenal students. I have the um, fortune to uh, supervise a whole range of very motivated and talented students and it's really exciting to see them develop into research scientists. Outside of work I enjoy spending time with my family and friends. Uh, I have a niece and nephew that I really love spending time with 
I also enjoy uh, reading as well as keeping healthy by uh, doing Pilates, going for walks and occasionally going for a run. Mm -hmm.